Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. This video is my most recent hauls from L3. Um, it's my very first time in the history of almost three years of buying L3 that my order came UPS. You know, the big ones come UPS. So um, I did get a lot of stuff and I got a good bit of scoops and, you know, scoops take up a lot of room in boxes. So um, Jen so graciously blended everything together, you know, order wise, combined, I mean, not blended, but you know what I mean. Um, and it came in one mighty multiple pound box from UPS. Um, I know there are, and I, um, this is going to be my last <laughs> big order like this for a while. That's all I'll have to say. Cause I have a, I have a good bit of stuff coming in and I'm also, you know, moving some things out and just making space for everything. And it can be a little overwhelming at times. I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. Um, I still, uh, still have my sinus infection today. So <clears throat> pardon me. I do have a drink with me here today. I'm a little, uh, you know, when you have one of those, you can be a little bit more thirsty. So I do have a drink here just in case I need to to, to take a drink. Um, okay, let's get into wax. Enough housekeeping. Uh, L3 is owned by Jennifer Westing from Junction City, Oregon. Uh, the bath and body portion is owned by Trish Pergament. They are best friends and they're both wonderful ladies, can do anything and everything. It seems like they're super ladies and they're just great with customer service. Blending out blend requests, they, you know, pour all of the things we want all the time. Uh, they'll re-pour things. They are accommodating with um, uh, questions and all those, all of these things. So L3 is pretty much, um, she's an OG. She's been around for 10 years, 10 year anniversary this year. So um, each order comes packed with your invoice. Um, I'm hiding the good stuff up here. Um, and then she does Combine orders, like I said, uh, if you are new to L3. Uh, she does combine orders if the name is the same and the address is the same on each order. So I know sometimes we order for each other, you know, if somebody's working or they can't they can't be there when something opens. Um, it's kind of a, um, a, well, I don't know if that would work in that situation. You know what I'm talking about. Um, she'll combine it if the names and addresses are the same. So uh, I have four I have four orders here. And the reason why I have four is because one's the pre-order. The pre-order that she opened when they were in um, uh, when they were in Europe. This is the pre-order. So everything was done around the same time. So Jen combined everything together. Um, I wish I should really only have three orders, but there was um, a couple of um, cloud cloud cakes that Jen and Trish poured that sold out in another in another variety that they had, and I made another little order to grab a couple of those, and we'll get to those in this order. So, um, if you're watching this, uh, sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab some food. It's going to be a long one, but we'll see how fast I get through some of these. Um, a lot of these are new to me blends, and then we have some returning favorites, like always. So I'm just going to grab and go. Um, if you get large orders from L3 or beautifully packed orders that are that are large but in a large flat rate box and you wonder how do they get them in there so well, I have to give a shout out to Lorenzo. Lorenzo, I believe, is Jen's son who works at L3 and he is fantastic at packing boxes. I know that because when I got my box, it's, it's a little heavy to hoist up here and show you, or I would. Um, I sent a message in our admin chat, um, and I said, whoever packed my order deserves a standing ovation because it's just immaculate. I do not know how the person got everything in here. And Trish said, that's Lorenzo. And I said, Lorenzo needs a raise because this is fantastic. So um, keep Lorenzo in mind when you're unpacking your goodies. So let's go ahead and get started in wax. Okay, if you see from my thumbprint, Jen is offering shot cups now, these little shot cups, which I absolutely love. I believe these are $2 each. The price doesn't show here on the invoice, or I would try to reflect that, but these are $2 or a little over $2 each. What I like about these is she's even offering scent shot cup pre in the pre-order samplers. Instead of the bunt samplers that are $20, she's offering, and I think I have one in here in fact, she's offering the scent shot um, samplers for a little bit of cheaper price and you get a little bit less quantity. Uh, I get six pieces from a bunt, whereas depending on the oils that are in this blend, I can get three to four out of a scent shot cup. So let's go ahead and get into these. 
These are in no particular order because I don't remember what was pre-order, what was not. So this first one is buttered pecan, sugared shortbread, apple cinnamon cookies. This one here, so you can get it to focus here. I think so. There we go. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit of an off day today here in the overly abode, but that's okay. This one here, this smells like yumminess. This is, I'm getting sugared shortbread, which is such a fantastic oil. And I'm getting butter pecan, which I think one of my next requests is going to be butter pecan zucchini bread. I really think that would be fantastic together. Get a little bit of that heft of the butter pecan with your zucchini bread. Oh, I, I'm just dreaming of that right now. The apple cinnamon is in here also. Not heavy cinnamon at all. It's cinnamon sugar at that. So you have your apple cinnamon playing well with the cookies and the butter pecan. <clears throat> I like this one here. Very good. Next one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Christmas cakes. Christmas cakes. This was actually offered in the sale from, um, I don't remember when it was. There wasn't a sale. Was there a sale on Friday? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't remember. But Christmas cakes was offered in the pre-order and then it was also offered again. This is sugar cookie royale, pine, and birthday cake. So this one here, let's see what this one smells like. This is very good in <clears throat> I knew I was going to cough. That's why <laughs> forgive me for being scatterbrained today. It's Sunday fun day, guys. So this I'm getting Sometimes I'm not really a huge fan of pine and bakery. I know, I know it's all the fad right now and everybody likes it, but I have to, I have to work up to it, especially because pine and I, we get along, but I don't always want to have pine in my home. So this one here, it is similar to another blend that's out there by another vendor. Um, this one, I'm getting the birthday cake and the pine. This one, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut and melt to really see how this bakery comes alive when it's warmed up because right now this is pine. I wouldn't call this air freshener or pine sol, although there are some pine sol pines out there, and I really try to be transparent with the pine that I'm describing if it is so or not. So, um, But what's pine sol to me might not be pine sol to you, but this is not giving me those vibes at all. This is just pine cookie little bit of buttercream and birthday cake. I actually got this in a scoop because I knew that it would be a good seller because I know pine and cookies and cake everybody seems to love. So I forgot that I ordered this little guy in the pre-order, but hey, that's okay. That's a that's a, a sample for some people. Um, this next one here is cappuccino brulee, spiced honey tonka, and lavender latte. This was a little new creation. Um, I really like spiced honey tonka. It's very, very, very good as a blender in a lot of cases. I love honey, love tonka. I can smell this right now. It's strong. I am getting the cappuccino. I wouldn't quite say this is a this is an absolute coffee blend. There's coffee in it, but I'm also in the next sniff getting the lavender. The lavender is very very nice, and then I'm and then also don't discount the honey tonka, spiced honey tonka. That's in here too. It's all blending together seamlessly, and it's good. A sneeze might be on the horizon, so <laughs> just warning you guys here. Maple, excuse me, vanilla maple pecan, cinnamon chai, coriander tonka. I had to get this one because what attracted me to this was coriander. I'm like, ooh, coriander isn't used in wax very much at all. I don't think I've ever seen it. So let's see what this one is. This is nice. The chai and the tonka and the coriander. Coriander is a is an herb and it's used in, in cooking. But this all blends together so well. It blends very well with the chai spices, the warm spices that are in the chai tea. I love this. Not getting too much maple. A little bit of tonka, not much. This is chai heavy. So if you like chai, this is your guy. There. <laughs> he rhymed poet and didn't know it kind of a thing. <laughs> Hey, you got to have fun in life. Okay, next one, maraschino cherry sugar cookie. This one here was a no-brainer for me. I love a good cherry, but I know cherry is scary to some folks out there. But this one here, 
is maraschino cherry with that sugar cookie royale. Sugar cookie royale is one of my favorite cookie oils. Sugar cookie dough is pretty darn good too, but sugar cookie royale just has that that rich buttery dough and that thick buttercream that is so luscious and I love it. This has a little bit of that cherry mix to it. I love cherry cookies. I love cherry squares. My dad loves cherry pie. He loves cherry also. So I grew up having a lot of cherry bakery goods in my home. So now at Christmas time, I was just planning my list today and things I'm going to be sending, baking and sending my dad back in Pennsylvania for Christmas. I'm going to be making some cherry squares. I love cherry squares. My husband loves them too. I make them every year and the pan just flies out of here. It's just, they're, they're so good. This reminds me of that. You know, you have your little bit of cherry pie filling, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cream. This is good. I would buy this in a larger size. I even think maraschino cherry, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread would be good too. I love zucchini bread. Ugh, so good. Uh, next is red plum baklava, bear claws, and almond macaroon. Actually, there was a sale on Friday. I'm having flashbacks because I remember red plum baklava in one of those blends that was on the list on Friday. So red plum, plum baklava. Baklava, of course, is a dessert. Very laborious to make. It's got nuts in it. This is very much baklava. If you haven't smelled baklava in in reality, I haven't made baklava myself. It's one of those ones that I am not interested in making just because of how tedious it is. Those layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. And you have to get them flaky and crusty and have the nuts in there and there there's honey in there. And this is baklava. So I'm getting just a little bit of almond macaroon, which just accents the nuts that are in baklava. And plum, the plum is there for a little bit of juiciness, but it's not plum like some other plums that we might be familiar with. And it certainly doesn't remind me of a plum, like a fresh plum that you would, you know, eat in the summertime. That is baklava mostly. And I will say I've only... I only got into this box and took a handful of these off top. I haven't dug into this, so a lot of these are new snips to me. Sugar cookie dough, gingerbread, spiked eggnog. I love me a good gingerbread. I like gingerbread and buttery gingerbread. They are both fantastic. Jen does not like traditional gingerbread, but she does like buttery gingerbread. It is a less potent version of gingerbread. So this one here is the good old gingerbread. This is nice. This is definitely spiked eggnog. It does have that boozy component to it, but you have the gingerbread there, which plays so well with eggnog in my opinion. Sugar cookie dough is just there for a little bit of extra doughy sweetness. I love this one. This is really, really good. I love the yellow color too. Fitting for that eggnog oil in there. Love that one. Next little guy is wild berry, sugar cakes, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Sugar cakes, of course, is uh, one of L3's new bakery blends that was developed later, not later, earlier this year. And I do not remember what is in sugar cakes, I'm sorry, but it is a vanilla bakery blend, but it's a good one. So wild berry, of course, wild berry is Miss Christie's favorite. Not so much wild berry mousse, but wild berry. They are a little different. I love wild berry mousse but wild berry is okay too. This here, it smells like berries with cake. I'm not getting too much outright pumpkin pecan waffles. Love that pink there. I have to showcase that pink. I just, I love this. This is berry, berry cake. I'm going to like this one immensely. Berry is, berry is not scary. Berry is so good to me. Um, I have one little, little shot cup here. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry pound cake, and zucchini bread. This one has been around forever. I just had to grab this because you can never have too much zucchini bread blends, in my opinion. If you haven't had this one here, what I'm smelling on first sniff is pumpkin pecan waffles mixed with zucchini bread. And then you have that fantastic strawberry pound cake that is creamy and strawberry and cakey right in the back part of your sniff. That's this one right here. Okay, I believe that's all of the shot cups that I got. I'm just going to dig in and see what is in here. Okay, um, okay, so we, the three, the three of us, uh, Christy Hartshorn, Tam Carr, and myself, 
our moderators for L3. And sometimes in our orders, Jen and Trish will put little samplers, samples for us to test the new oil that they're thinking of um, offering or want us to know, is this a true dupe kind of a thing? Because if you've been in the wax world long enough, you know that all of these vendors for oils, they can say that it's a dupe for a Bath and Body Works or a Slatkin or a Yankee product, but it really truly isn't. So this one here is Christmas Eve. This is supposed to be the Yankee Candle type. And I can just tell you right here on first sniff, this is not Yankee Candle. This is a different type of Christmas Eve. Uh, Christy, I, I told the girls I, I am as late getting into my order. Tam is, I don't believe Tam has ever smelled Christmas Eve before the, the real McCoy. Christy has, and it has that fruity, it has that fruity berry, almost currant like essence to it, to my nose. This is not like that. This is a different Christmas Eve. So I'm going to give my feedback to them and they'll keep looking for Christmas Eve. I do know Jen was shopping for some oils this past Friday. We were chatting in our group chat about that. Uh, so there's going to be some newness on the horizon. So just did want to tell you, we do test out stuff on our side here um, for you guys to enjoy coming up. Okay, next one here. This is pistachio pudding cake, cherry chocolate ice cream. That's this one right here. These, um, in the holiday times, uh, they offer, these are, is this, this is the gingerbread houses, I believe. There's different shapes here. Yeah, gingerbread houses. Of course, for Christmas, there's the three pack of elves. For Halloween and fall time, she had the pumpkins and just different shapes and different molds that she's used throughout the year for the holidays and, and seasonal appropriate ones. Gingerbread houses are one that she offers in the holiday times and I love them because they're just this size. You can get quite a few chops out of this one here. And I had to try this one here because I love pistachio and I love cherry. And chocolate ice cream, <clears throat> I figured I would give it a go. And that is nice. Oh my goodness, is this good. This is so good if you like cherry. This pistachio pudding cake and cherry. Pistachio and cherry go, I mean, if you are anti-pistachio, you probably smell cherry in it and you're not a cherry fan. That's the consensus I get from most people who ask about pistachio blends. Is it super almond? Is it super cherry? Or is it right in the middle? My nose specifically does not smell cherry with a lot of pistachio blends, but I do know when I'm smelling a heavy, 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 true pistachio, creamy nut-like scent versus the other type of pistachio that is a little bit sharper to the nose. And I believe that version there is the ones that others feel smells cherry. I do not get that. I love pistachio. I've had pistachio in my life growing up with puddings and cakes, and I just, I love it. My husband does too. It's any, any form of pistachio I'll take. This here, cherry, so cherry accents pistachio very well because cherry and almond go well together. I mean, Jergens hand cream is a thousand years old, and that's cherry almond. So nice, so good. This smells good. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, really even smelling the cherry chocolate. What I'm actually smelling is more like a cherry cordial. The chocolate covered cherries that are out this time, Queen Anne and, and um, is it Celia's? I think it's Celia's, that, they're my favorite ones. The chocolate covered cherries. This is almost giving off cherry cordial vibes. I really, really like this. This is good. The pistachio is not even part of this. This is cherry and chocolate cherry cordial. Love that one. So glad. I went back and forth with that one. Should I try it? Should I not try it? And it went in my car. It went out of my car. It went back in my car and I checked out. So it was meant to be because I love it. It's so good. Okay. Next one here is pistachio pudding cake, warm vanilla sugar, and Palo Santo. Um, oh, I, fr I failed to tell you. These are the gingerbread shapes and they pipe in different colors here. I'm not going to take this one out of the bag because this one um, I've already talked about. So I'll take this next one out of the bag here just to show you um, just the size and the detail that goes into these gingerbread houses. So look at that cute little piping details, a little chimney up here. This is nice because um, I have been replenishing my pistachio scents because I realized I only had like two things left of pistachio and I always like to have pistachio on hand. So this one here smells like 
I'm getting Palo Santo and warm vanilla sugar. The pistachio pudding cake is there, but the Palo Santo takes away any of that cherry essence or that nut essence that one might get from pistachio. And the warm vanilla sugar is one of my most favorite vanilla oils out there. It's a Bath and Body Works oil or fragrance, I should say. If you haven't smelled it, go in the stores now. It's there. It's a really nice, heavy, caramelized, warm, comforting hug of a scent. I love warm vanilla sugar. This, I'm glad I grabbed this because I love warm vanilla sugar and pistachio pudding cake. This was kind of a no-brainer one for me. Love that one. I have a shape in here, a couple of shapes here. This is the ornaments. You can see the shape of the ornament here. This is another pistachio blend. This is pistachio pudding cake, almond cookies, and zucchini bread. I mean, come on. <laughs> These are three of my favorites. This one, that is nice. This is true almond. True almond. The pistachio is there, but then when you add additional almond cookie or anything almond to it, it just moves it into that true almond. Not quite amaretto, but true almond. I mean, amaretto is almond too, but stronger almond. This has zucchini bread and it also, and this is just the creaminess of the zucchini bread is there. Not too much of that little bit of spice that's in um, L3 zucchini bread oil, which is my favorite one out there. I love it so much. This is really good. If you like almond, you would like this one here. Okay, next one. This is a, uh, this was a leaf. These were the leaves that were left over from fall. This is wild berry mousse, sweet, sweet cream, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini bread. I actually think this was one of my blend requests from months ago, and it's just continued to, to take momentum. So this one's poured frequently now. And I always have to, so good. I had this in a scoop, and I finished it up a couple of days ago. I was hoarding it, but I knew I had a little bit more wild berry stuff coming, so I wanted to, wanted to finish it up. This is wild berry mousse, but on warm, it just takes on this beautiful wild berry mousse bakery that the sugar cookie dough and the zucchini bread just blossom so well. This is such a good one. I love this. I could bathe in this. This is so, so good. Love this one. Love that one. I had to get another one of those. Okay. Next is Amaretto Espresso and Sugar Cookie Royale. This is yet another one I've had countless times. I love Amaretto almond <laughs> y'all knew that if you watch me um and espresso and sugar cookie royale so espresso of course my favorite oil from the coffee world and jen's in jen's uh, world i should say is coffee bean i love coffee bean and cafe cubano those are my two favorite ones coffee house isn't bad it's got a heavy chocolate note to my nose but coffee and chocolate play well together so that one's coffee house and uh, roasted coffee is a little bit a little bit too bitter to my nose it's more of that that coffee um fresh bean versus coffee bean has already been brewed and it's down into that black cup of coffee that's what i like so this one here is amaretto and espresso which the amaretto is very strong in here, as is the espresso. They're, they're neck and neck. And then the sugar cookie royale, I hope, comes alive on warm to cream this down a little bit. This might be a little bit strong on warm. I might have to mix around with that one. Next one. <clears throat> this is Cuban tobacco, coffee bean, and vanilla oak. Another one I'm in love with are tobacco blends. Love it. So this one here, Cuban tobacco, is a really good tobacco oil. Vanilla oak and coffee bean. This is nice. I'm getting the tobacco and the coffee bean are right there. And then you have the oakiness and the vanilla that just complements this very well. This is, I don't want to say it's masculine cologne. It's not anywhere like that. But this is a masculine scent and it's earthy. This would go beautifully blended with Palo Santo. You could blend this with cream. You could blend this with... Um, uh, patchouli, you know, anything like that. This, that, 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 I like that one. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. This is a cloud cake. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver is, let me tell you here. It's a bear claw amaretto blend. 
Bear Claws Almond and Amaretto. I was close. This one here I have in my collection uh, in a shape somewhere. I don't remember where it is. I might have moved it downstairs. But this one here is is so good. The, uh, the Amaretto, she scaled back a little bit on the Amaretto because the Amaretto is so strong. It'll take over if, you're, if you don't blend it very meticulously, in my opinion. It can just be the only note to smell. This here, you have the creaminess of the Bear Claw, which has a little bit of raisin, a little bit of nut in it. It's a really good Bear Claw oil. Then you accent it with the almond and this the uh, Amaretto. This is a really good creamy almond blend. I love this one too. I mean, I've loved pistachio and almond and Amaretto for years. Love it. I'll always have it in my home. I have a duplicate of that in here. So when I get, actually, I'm in the cloud cake layer now, so we'll just keep going. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver right here. And okay, this next one is Cookies Under the Tree. This was one of my requests again. Uh, this one has been one of Jen's staple Christmas blends for a long time. This is a really good one. This is Candy Canes, Fraser Fir, Sugar Cookies, and Gingerbread. So you have all the heavy hitters, except eggnog. Eggnog needs to be in there somewhere. You have all the heavy hitters from the holiday season, your candy cane, your pine, your gingerbread, and then you mix it together so beautifully with that creamy sugar cookie royale. This blend performs beautifully. It's one of my favorite can, um, candy cane and gingerbread blends because you have the first part of the sniff I get is gingerbread, but then when this warms up, the candy cane just gives that little bit of creamy coolingness to it. And then to round it all together, the sugar cookie Royale just creams everything together and makes this be a beautiful bakery. But I will say you do have to like gingerbread in order to like cookies under the tree. That because, because you can smell those warming spices from the gingerbread. Okay, next one here is amaretto spiced oat milk and sweet cream foam this one here i'm excited for the spiced oat milk is has traditionally been poured with cafe cubano which is cuban coffee uh, coffee and brown sugar so this here amaretto with spiced oat milk, this is a nice blend. It's not too strong, not too potent on the amaretto front. The spiced oat milk just gives a little bit, a little bit of creaminess with just the babiest touch of spice, not bad at all. And then the vanilla sweet cream foam is just there as a little bit of touch of vanilla. I like this one on cold. That's gonna be a nice one. I got a lot of amaretto and almond this time because I am replenishing my supply and I have enough now for a while. Uh, cookies under the tree i got a duplicate of that and i got a duplicate of amaretto spiced oat milk and this last one here i got three of that one because i i knew i would like this amaretto blend so what i do with these cloud cakes just because the real estate in this bag you don't have much to deal with unless you cut it down into your pieces and slide it right back down into the bag what i do especially when i buy multiple of the same scent Always keep poly bags on, on hand. I think most of us do. But if you don't, buy some. L3 sells them and other vendors out there sell them on their site. Keep them on hand. I chop all these up at the same time and I put them in a fresh poly bag. And then I just um, cut the label out of this and just tape it on that new bag on the front. Just because so I can, I can grab this whenever I want. I don't have to worry about fiddle, fiddling around these little bags. They just get a little tedious after a period of time in my opinion. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's see here. This is a Bitty Betty Loaf. This is bourbon, butterscotch, tobacco, and cashmere cedar. This one here is going to be good. Bourbon, tobacco, uh, bourbon, butterscotch, and tobacco are good together. Oh, is that good? This is good. I know Tam is venturing into the tobacco department and she likes this one and I'm so proud of her for buying this one. Uh, this has the oakiness from the bourbon, but then the butterscotch, bourbon and butterscotch, I believe bourbon butterscotch is one oil. Um, it, other vendors have it too. It's been, it's been blended for a long time. It's an older oil. Um, it goes so well with tobacco because the the oakiness and the the essence from the bourbon blends so well with the richness and deepness of butterscotch butterscotch can be overpowering too if it's not blended with something that can tone that down a little bit and then the cashmere cedar is almost an afterthought i'm not getting too much of that in this blend 
but that could come alive on warm. So far, this is a beautiful, I love this gold color, very fall appropriate, gorgeous, color coordinated, matchy matchy, love it, love it. <laughs> okay, a faithful handyman. This is a two pack bunt. I can get 12 out of here. There's a fly in here I just saw. <laughs> I wonder how he got in. Um, uh, this uh, I, I chop each bunt into six pieces on the on the little on the little lines. This scent is a little is a little bit nutty, just like Riff Raff. Riff Raff is from what movie? Do you guys know? I'm pretty sure it's Rocky Horror Picture Show with Tim Curry. Pretty sure Riff Raff is on that show. Uh, when our when I lived in Columbus every Halloween, they had a Rocky Horror Picture Show just bonanza. It's cult following for a reason. Uh, this is uh, nutty like Riff Raff, banana nut bread and zucchini bread. I mean, this one is a staple. It's a classic. Banana nut bread oil of Jen's. It's just so darn good. In this, you get the richness from the banana, and then that zucchini bread is just equal. It's equal. It's so good. This is satisfying. It's a little bit not artificial banana, but it's balanced very well with that zucchini bread. This is fantastic. It's fantastic. Love that. Next one I have. This one was actually... Um, this was actually one of my uh, one of my requests of a month two ago in scoops. This is buttery buttery gingerbread, lemon pound cake, brown sugar and vanilla ice cream. So this one was my request. It was poured in scoops, and a lot of you guys really really liked it and talked about it. And I've melted it in my home, and I really really enjoy it. I really thought gingerbread and lemon would go together so well, just because you know gingerbread if you think about it you have gingerbread mixed a lot with orange orange is a citrus as is lemon so i thought it it will work because orange and gingerbread go together lemon and gingerbread will too so that's why i thought to put these together this blend was chosen to be poured and here we are this one here the buttery gingerbread is um it's not as potent as the original gingerbread i I don't mind the potency of gingerbread. I know Jenny Gilmore calls it aggressive. It's not as aggressive. She really likes buttery gingerbread also. So like I said earlier, if you are one that is a little bit intimidated by gingerbread or it's too much for you, try buttery gingerbread. It's a little bit of a diluted version of gingerbread. This is blended very, very well. The lemon bread, lemon bread, lemon pound cake is coming in the second part of my sniff. The first part of the gingerbread then you have the vanilla ice cream there for creaminess, as is the brown sugar. This is a really good blend. Love that vibrant yellow color. Gorgeous. Okay, here's another shape of mine. Oh, another wild berry mousse, sweet cream, sugar, cookie dough, and zucchini bread. I bought some duplicates of these things this time around. So, let's see here. Okay. Here's my piece of candy. I have a warhead. This is extreme sour watermelon. My cat will like that. And I got a sour punch little, um, I don't want to call this licorice, but I don't know what else to call it. These little sour punch guys. Jen always puts some candy in here. Here is a spoonula for what's coming up next. Every order where you have a scoop, you get one of these for free. These are metal. These are durable. I love those ones. Okay, let's see where we're going to go next in here. Have Wild Berry Mousse, Sugar Cookie Royale, Buttercream Frosting, and Zucchini Bread. So this one is similar to the other, other blend we talked about a couple of times here. But this one here, this has the... If you're a fan of buttercream frosting, you would like this one if you like the other notes that are in here. Because the buttercream frosting... Um, Another reason why I like to purchase the Trig Tarts from Jen, when she pours them, Trig Tarts are only ever in single oils unless it's specified like she did with the special Christmas ones this year where she put the glitter and all the glam in there. Those are blends. But traditionally, the Trig Tarts are just single oils. So if you really want to see how much of a single oil is in a blend, 
buy when it's offered whatever whatever oil you're looking for and really melt that alone so you can really see do you like that oil on its own and so you know moving forward how to use that oil in blends and such so this one here i can smell the buttercream frosting in here and the zucchini bread is there and that buttercream frosting this is really really good love this one wildberry mousse is a-ok -okay to me i've said that before I'm going to take a sip of my drink. I'm drinking 7-Up today. My favorite is, well, this is Diet 7-Up, but my favorite is Diet Cherry 7-Up, but sometimes it's hard to find. So that's just plain today, but that's okay. Plain is good sometimes, too. I have some, I got a couple of these beautiful jazzed-up, glitter trig tarts for the holidays and i also got a couple uh just one excuse me there's my sample bag i'll do him last this is honey pear cider honey pear cider this is a single oil and i had to get this because i'm thinking um not thinking but i'm, I'm coming up on the customs list pretty soon Somebody asked me, I think Allison asked me, when is she on the list? Because sometimes if if you're looking around on the customs list and it's really, really hard the way that Facebook has made relative comments, all comments, new comments, that kind of thing, especially when you have one that has over a thousand comments, it gets kind of tedious to look at. So at any time, if you need to know where you are on the list, you know, just ask one of us and we'll do our best to give you an estimate of how many people are ahead of you and stuff. Because it it's it's tough for us. I mean, even though I know myself, it's it takes about 20 minutes to go on there and go through all the names and see where where has Jen called the last person, where am I, where are you, kind of a thing. So I knew I wanted to use, back to the wax, I knew I wanted to use um a pear i wanted to have honey pear somewhere in my world and i wanted to smell this to see if i want to use it in a customs blend because i i am coming up pretty soon for customs so this one here is it's pear it's beautiful yummy pear if you've ever had a enchanted pears which is pears and bakery that's another l3 blend of course it's the same pear that's in that but it's got a little bit of honey added to it i'm not getting too much cider in this one um but i'm i'm so glad i grabbed this because i really do like a good pear pear with honey is greek you know they have it with um uh i don't know the dessert that they, that they they make right now it's escaping me but honey and pear is something that's in greece a lot i just know that from watching cooking shows so one day i'll be in greece i'm so jealous that that jen and trish and their families got to go <laughs> to europe but one day we will okay next one here this is a bougie bar these are always so beautifully colored sometimes they come they come broke just because of shipping abuse this is wildberry mousse, sugar corn pudding, and zucchini bread. So the only difference in this one is that addition of the sugar corn pudding, which is only, I've had it alone. It's just sweet. It doesn't really scream corn to me. If you've ever had corn pudding, my mother makes really good corn pudding. If you've ever had it, it's sweet, yes, but it's got also a creaminess to it. So sugar corn pudding isn't going to make your scent smell like corn it's just it's a it's a sweet cake if anything so that's what this one is this one here i don't have to beat the dead horse with talking about zucchini bread and <laughs> wildberry mousse because i've already talked about those several times in this video I'm stretching my leg out here because sometimes when you sit down on the ground for a period of time your leg falls asleep and that's what's happening to me so just shifting around here for a minute okay next one here i have i want to talk about these in, in a second um this is oh another one wildberry mousse zucchini bread sugar cookie royale and buttercream frosting this is in a bitty betty loaf i just talked about this in the four pack of the fluted tarts so i don't have to go into that one again i splurged on a big loaf i have not been buying loaves from any vendor because um, loaves take a long time to get through unless it's a staple blend I use all the time. So I've made the I've made the exception. I will purchase zucchini bread. I will purchase coffee. I will purchase um, 
wildberry mousse and I will purchase there's a couple other ones that I always have going in my home that I blend a lot with um, pumpkin pecan waffles is another one I will purchase those in a larger size just because I do blend so much with them and I do have them going in my home at least one part of every day so this one here was sugar cookie royale zucchini bread the one I wanted to try well not try I've had it before was sugar cookie um no no it's um brown sugar zucchini bread. I wanted that one, but it was sold out. So I grabbed this one here because this one, this one is such a good one too. You have your zucchini bread, but you have your sugar cookie royale that are blended together so beautifully. This is such a good blend on its own. This can be blended with a million things too. This one is really, really good in my opinion. Okay. There's my, holy moly, my scoops. Uh, apple Jack and Raspberry. This is a cloud cake. Apple Jack and Raspberry. This was a new one to me. Let's see. This is one that Jen has said I have to smell because it's so good and Christy also. This one is very hard to describe because it's an apple scent. Yes, but it's if I had to say anything, it's kind of like Fuji apple. If you've ever had the Fuji apple oil, she pours it in trigs and I love it. It's like, it smells like a bakery apple to me. That's so good and creamy and yummy. This is similar to that, but it's not quite that. This is nice. I like this. It's fruity, fruity apple, but a little bit of raspberry, not floral raspberry, just a little bit of raspberry. So shifting around here for a second. Okay. These are the scent shops, the scent shot cup samplers. I got this one in honey, spiced honey tonka bean. I got this one because um, I don't have a lot of that oil in my life and I really, really like it. I love honey and I love tonka. So I'll do that one last. I have some more little loaves in here. This is cranberry ginger ale staple. Oh my God, is this a staple, especially this time of year. Pomegranate and ginger ale is good together. Cranberry and ginger ale is good together. Jen has such a good ginger ale oil. It's effervescent. It pops. It blends well. It's delicious. Adding cranberry to it. Cherry ginger ale is good too. Yep. You get that effervescence. You have that fresh ginger pop to your nose. This is not gingerbread. This is fresh ginger with ginger ale. I mean, I love ginger ale. I have ginger ale in our house all the time. It's so good. It's just season appropriate. I got this to melt in Thanksgiving week and the last part after uh, Thanksgiving. That's what I got this one for. Love that one. Uh, the next little baby loaf I got is spiced honey tonka bean zucchini bread, which I actually got in a scent shot cup, if I'm not mistaken. This one here, I think I did. Maybe it's a little bit different. I never had spiced honey tonka bean and zucchini bread before. But it works very, very well. The spice, the spice tonka bean, spice honey tonka bean is, wait a minute here. Yeah, spice honey tonka bean. That's a single oil. This is dominant in this scent. But then in the background of your sniff, you have that creaminess of the zucchini bread and a little bit of the spices. So that one there, that's going to be a good one. I buy a lot of ginger, a lot of gingerbread. I buy a lot of zucchini bread stuff sometimes. So she knows how to make them good. This next one is banana nut bread and coffee bean. Banana nut bread and coffee bean. Some of these are staples, I know, and they're they're they've been poured forever and they're good. This one, banana nut bread is very dominant here. Coffee bean is silently in the background. It's not too dominant to my nose on cold, but of course, coffee bean comes alive beautifully on warm blooms. So that's what's happening with this guy here. Okay, I have my scoops in here. Lots of scoops. So let's go ahead and do, these are beautifully decorated. Lots of glitter, a little bit too much glitter for me. I don't like glitter, but it's the holidays. I guess glitter comes with the season. You can see in here, we have little candy canes, little trees, little tinsel looking things here. And not to mention, this is a beautiful pink color. Love pink. This is Java My Bells. Java My Bells. This is pistachio latte, bear claws, salted caramel, and sweet cream. Um, 
Yes, please. Pistachio latte. It's creamy. It's so good. I can hear my husband snoring downstairs. Oh, <laughs> he's sleeping. It's too late. Yeah, we have sleeping problems in this house, but that's... The living room is right below me. He had football on, but I can hear him down there. So, pardon me. This is not a coffee blend. Um, pistachio latte, I don't know if um, anybody, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching right now, has bought Better Homes and Gardens wax from Walmart. They had a blend, I believe it was last year, uh, pistachio, pistachio and lattes, I think it was. And it did not smell at all like coffee to me. It's the true pistachio nut, the creaminess, that unmistakable, that's a pistachio scent. This here is that that type of pistachio. So if you if you smell pistachio and latte, this is that same creaminess. This is the same vibe that this blend is giving to me. These are new blends, so not many people other than the ones that created them have, have smelled them. And the ones, of course, that have got their orders already. So this one, I'm not getting too much bear claw. I'm getting just a little bit of that sweet cream. But this one I'm going to let cure a little bit because it. I don't want to say it's light, but it's going to be a a medium thrower. I can already anticipate that. So I'm going to let this one cure a little bit, get that one nice and juiced up. And this next one, holy moly, look at that glitter on the back there. Look at that. And then we have the glitter in here. This is Christmas Town. This is Appleberry Harvest, Cranberry and Fresh Baked Bread. Oh my. Yes. Oh, is that good? Appleberry Harvest, that must be a new oil too. But the dominant one in this one here is cranberry. I love cranberry. Cranberry is good. This cranberry, it's playing nicely with the Appleberry Harvest. And then the fresh baked bread is there as that bakery component. It's all blended together very, very nicely. Okay. I'm going to do my scoops and then my sampler and then my samples and then this video is done. I told you it's a long haul. Okay, first one, coffin cake. Coffin cake. This is butter pecan, shortbread, caramel drizzle, marshmallows, and sugar cookie royale. Coffin cake. This one, let's see. The richness of the caramel and the butter pecan with the shortbread is what I'm getting in this one here. Sugar cookie royale is here, but I am getting the three notes I described that are jumping out to me. The butter pecan and the caramel. That's going to be a good one. This could be a good blender too, just because it's that heavy, rich bakery that can blend well with a lot of other things too. Next one, amaretto, roasted coffee, vanilla ice cream, pistachio ice cream. I got this one because of the amaretto and the pistachio ice cream. Oh, you know what this one smells like? Absolutely. Bath and Body Works pistachio ice cream. That creamy, luscious, yummy pistachio almond ice cream. I had a candle in it. I think I still have it in my closet back here. It's partially partially burned. This is what that one smells like. I'm getting the creaminess, extra creaminess from the vanilla ice cream. Not getting too much coffee at all. Amaretto is just there playing along like best friends with that almond factor. Oh, is that good? really really like this one this also reminds me of of um of pistachio pudding you know if you have jello pistachio pudding reminds me of that one too next i know i have two of these yep blueberry muffin zucchini bread if you watched my favorite melt of the month that i filmed last night i talked about this guy in it i ran out of it and i replenished it with i thought i bought two and i did this is blueberry muffin and zucchini bread. It's pretty self-explanatory. Those two are beautif beautifully married together in this blend. This throws well. It's strong. It's comforting. I literally put this in my warmer and I just sit there and deeply inhale. It's so good. I love this blend. It's, it's comforting to me in that fattening sort of way. <laughs> okay. Night at the Carnival. This is Vivian's blend. This has been a screamer hit ever since this was chosen as a, a customer creation contest winner earlier this spring. This 
is quite a good one. This is kettle corn, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread. She was trying to duplicate another vendor who's going to be um, closing her doors in a month. Uh, one of her top blends um, that, of those of us that really like these oils. She was trying to duplicate it with this one. It's close. It's about it's about 75, 80%, I would say. It's good. This one is heavier in the kettle corn. Uh, this one here is kettle corn, but it's so good on warm, guys. This Cupcakes at Tiffany's is creamy. The vanilla butter fudge is rich and luscious and creamy. This zucchini bread is there but it's not spicy if you haven't tried this it's poured quite a bit because it's very very popular it's very very good it's a standout so great job on that one vivian this next one is sweet bakery dough pistachio pudding cake and roasted coffee i love scoops i have a lot of scoops and i am i am I am going to be doing a large D stash of some wax in the next couple of months before before spring, before it gets warm. I very well might be getting moving. I don't want to say getting rid of moving on some scoops. So if you are interested in scoops, watch the D stash pages. I might just because not because I don't love scoops. I do buy them all the time. Just getting too much of them. So um, I have a good bit of L3 ones. I might be moving on to homes for them to to you know show them some love too might I, might I might be doing that not sure on the scoops part but other stuff yes so this one here man is this good this is creamy sugar cookie dough is such a good oil pistachio pudding cake is there not getting too much coffee this is creamy cookie pistachio pudding cake very 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 good love that love that but I use I use scoops all the time in my home. I mean, I, I love scoops. They perform well in any of my warmers. And it's just so easy to scoop out of this. There's no chopping involved. And they're so pretty. This next one is pistachio pudding cake, jelly donut, and pink frosted cake. Pink frosted cake, my lover. Love it. I should, um, I should... <sighs> Pink frosted cake I have right now in my scoop up in my in my melting tote I'm working on. But other than that, I haven't been melting very much pink frosted cake. I need to get back into melting some more of her. So this one here, let's see what this one's about. This one was my request, I believe. Maybe it wasn't. But I, if I didn't request this, I thought of it. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know. I don't want to take credit for it if I, I, I really don't remember. This one, so let's see what this one's like. This is pistachio pudding cake blended with pink frosted cake, but they're seamless. You can smell them both in the same sniff. Jelly donut. I'm just getting a little bit of the jelly part of the donut. I'm sure that donut will be there on warm when this blooms and blossoms and get all sorts of fattening smelling. But I love this color pink. That's just so, it's so delicate and dainty. Oh, that smells so good. Love that one. Next scoop is twisted peppermint, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, and zucchini bread. What a blend here. I don't remember if I was involved with this, but it's got a lot of good stuff in here. And I don't, I honestly don't remember ordering some of these too. So, <laughs> hey, you gotta have fun. Oh my goodness, this is good. This is very, very good. I haven't, these, these are, these are authentic, first sniffs here guys this if you like twisted peppermint it's a bath and body works oil it's been around for a thousand years it's out right now i think i haven't been i'm pretty sure it is it's, it's one of their oldest christmas scents i have not been shopping at bath and body works i'm actually divorcing them i've decided i'm divorcing bath and body works i was on a on a complicated relationship extended break i was estranged from bath and body works but i've decided to go on and divorce them just because there's so many other good bath and body products in my life other other vendors that make them and other companies and i just don't want to support the big box chain anymore i don't so i'm going to have to say adios to the authentic twisted peppermint but this oil is very very good i hope it's i hope it's body safe because in the future i might get some body wash of twisted peppermint because i love it 
little bit of a zing in the shower. My husband likes it too sometimes. This is twisted peppermint and zucchini bread, which I have a chunk of right now. I chopped up in my last chop and chat and I'm melting and I'm enjoying it. It's so good together. This is creamy and you have a little bit of minty with that zucchini bread, which works. It really, really does. I'm not getting too much of the pine cone, which is great to me because pine is not something I'm wanting in this blend, honestly, but we'll see. It might come out on warm, which is okay. You know, it just, whoever created this blend, you might need a round of applause. We'll see once I get this one going. Okay. Lots of scoops. Next one. Peter the Magnificent. Peppermint, white velvet bow. So amazing. White velvet bow is jasmine, white poppy, yuzu zest, white poinsettias, and white velvet musk. So this is basically, this is this was a blind buy. I've never smelled this before, but, sorry. Um, I saw where this is a blend that's loved and it has a following. So I thought, hey, it's time. I've seen this blend for three years. It's time to, it's time to try this one out. Mmm, this is good. Yep, I see it now, girls. I see it now. This is creamy, so creamy peppermint, but not sweet peppermint. It's almost, I'm trying to think of something I've smelled that this is similar to. Have you ever smelled the L3 blend? I'm thinking it's called... Um, manscaping how manscaping it i mean it's, it's not these oils here but how manscaping when you sniff it it has that burst of freshness and it's smooth it's the smoothness i'm trying to explain the smoothness to this it's not harsh medicinal menthol peppermint it's a smooth creamy peppermint but it's not a sweet peppermint it's not a vanilla peppermint it's just a smooth clean it's very icy so this, I'm not getting any of these other um, notes, maybe a little bit of musk, not too, not too much floral at all. This is a creamy, smooth peppermint. Peter, you are magnificent. That, <laughs> that's a good one. Two more scoops here. Rose jam, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread. So this one here, love rose jam. Mmm, is this good? This is good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just trying to just savor this moment. Rose jam. Rose jam is a lush dupe. It is rosy. You have to like rose. This is blended with warm vanilla sugar and zucchini bread. Warm vanilla sugar is that Bath and Body Works blend we talked about earlier. And then zucchini bread is zucchini bread. I've got a lot of zucchini bread blends in this one, but it's my love. This is rose jam blended with bakery. If you purchased a few months back the, the uh, chunk rose jam sweet 16, sweet 16 is a very extremely creamy, heavy baked blend. If you liked that with rose jam, and there's been some other rose jam bakery blends that's been made the last few months. Jenny Gilmore's made some, Tam's made some, and other, and other ones out there have. If you like bakery and rose jam, you would like this because the warm vanilla sugar only adds a little bit of caramelized vanilla to this and just makes it a little bit sweeter. This is delicious. It's feminine. It's a little floral with a little bit of bakery and it works. Very good. Last scoop is Christmas cakes. This is the one we talked about in the um, 10 hours ago in the beginning of the video. This is sugar cookie royale pine and birthday cake. That's this one here. This one it smells the same on cold as it does in the scent shot cold uh, scent shot cup uh, as it does in the scoop. It's creamy. This is similar to. I'm even hesitant to say this, but it's similar to Thwomps from Rose Girls, but Thwomps has heavier pine in it to my nose and a little bit heavier peppermint. 
So that it's similar, but not quite. You know, I'm trying to give you, I, I like to try to relate to those of you who might not have this blend, something that's been around for a while. And Thwomps, I know, is one of, one of Jenny's most popular Mario blends. Okay, quickly, I'm going to go into the Scent Shop um, sampler here. Then I have the challenge of finding where do I put all these guys to live now. <laughs> I need to buy a couple more storage containers for my scoops, I think. That'll be uh, what I want to do. Tonka Bean Noir. Tonka Bean Noir Vanilla Extract. Honey Spiced. Honey Tonka. Okay. That's what that is. Can we see it here? Is it focusing? Is it focusing? I think so. There we go. There's a little bit better. Okay. Basically, I'm getting honey spice tonka bean. That's what I'm getting in this one here. Um, the vanillas and the extra honeys are probably just there to keep this, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Next one. Smoked oud, smoked vanilla, spiced honey tonka bean. So we have smoked oud, which I which I think is, I don't know if it's a Tom Ford fragrance, but it's wood. This is earthy. It's smoky. It's got that little bit of sensuality to it from that oud. I like this one. You have to like the spiced honey tonka bean to like this one. Dark chocolate, spiced honey tonka bean, and brownie batter. Okay, she took it into the chocolate department. Let's see here. This one, I love brownie batter. It's the only chocolate wax I have found that I like. This one here has dark chocolate added to it. I'm going to really have to smell this. I'm getting, you know, dark chocolate. I'm trying to think of a brand right now. Uh, even the little Hershey's miniatures, you know how dark chocolate has that scent. It's, it's just, it doesn't have too much sugar in it. It just, it's, it just has that dark chocolate smell. That's what this smells like to me. And I wonder that the brownie batter is authentic brownie. I mean, it smells like a damn brownie. It really, really does that the dark chocolate and the honey tonka bean has taken the the authentic brownie down to just a dark chocolate level. This one is very unique. I'm going to still decide on this one if I'm going to really like this one or not because chocolate, unfortunately, pulls artificial to me a lot of the times. So this one is a maybe. That one's a maybe. Next one, um, excuse me, honey butter rolls, butter spiced. Excuse me. Let's see. Honey butter rolls, butter. She has a butter oil now. Oh, that's great. Honey spice rolls, butter, and spice honey tonka bean. So took it on another, another um, uh, bakery route here. Mmm. Honey spiced rolls. Excuse me. Honey, <laughs> honey buttered rolls. Honey buttered rolls are very, very, very similar to the ones you get at Texas Roadhouse. If you just smell the sweet roll and then you have that whipped cinnamon butter that they give on the side, this is what, what the honey butter roll smells like. And the honey tonka bean just accents this beautifully. I love this blend. Very, very good. Next is vanilla bean, butterscotch, and spice honey tonka bean. Vanilla bean and butterscotch. Let's see here. That is heavy butterscotch. With the tonka bean, I mean, these were no-brainers to put together here. This is heavy butterscotch. If you like butterscotch, you would like that one. Okay, next one. Caramelized pralines, spiced honey tonka bean, and creme brulee. I'm not a caramelized praline person all the time. It just, it depends on how it's blended. This one. I'm only really getting the spiced honey tonka bean. Creme brulee is just vanilla to me. I'm not getting too much praline in that. So a lot of these here are dominantly spiced honey tonka bean because it is a very strong oil in my opinion. 
This is pumpkin carving, spice honey tonka bean, pumpkin seeds, and oud. I've had pumpkin seeds and oud before, and it's a very earthy, uh, it has an earthy vibe to it. This one, let's see if it'll come out of the cup here. To push it up out of here. Come on. There we go. Yep, that's what this smells like. Pumpkin seeds and oud together. It's creamy. The pumpkin carvings is just regular pumpkin. And the spice honey tonka bean is there too. That's a good one. Last one here is amber, oud, spice honey tonka bean, and cashmere. Let's see here. This is spice honey tonka bean too. So maybe these ones need a little bit of cure time because I'm getting just this primary spice honey tonka bean oil in a lot of these blends, except for the ones that I really elaborated on. So those ones um, might need a little bit of extra cure time or they very well just might need heated up because that spice honey tonka bean is a beautiful oil, but it's strong. So let's go ahead. We're almost at an hour. We're over an hour. Oh, man. Uh, do my samples. And then this video is a wrap. It's getting darker out. The sun's going down. I know the lighting in here has changed. Let's see. Here's your little cellophane bag with your holiday-appropriate snowflakes on it. Today is October 3rd, cinnamon apple. Today is October 3rd, of course, is Palo Santo, sugar cookie royale, and toasted marshmallow. I smell that today is October 3rd with a beautiful pinch of cinnamon apple. I really like this one. It's in a cute little pumpkin too. Next is Whoville. I've had Whoville before, but I can't tell you what this is because I'm not good blind sniffer, unless it's obvious. And then Jersey Devil. Let's see here. I've smelled something similar to this before, but same. I can't quite describe that one to you. So, okay, that is my most recent hauls from L3. It was a big one, I told you. Uh, so if you have watched this whole entire video, I so appreciate your support in watching this. I hope you enjoyed and I entertained you for this length of video. Um, if you haven't tried L3 and you want to and you're interested in anything you're seeing here, feel free to reach out to us, um, us moderators and admins. We do our best to answer all your questions and um, um, help you in any way we can. Uh, you can always personally reach out to me also and ask questions. Um, I'll do my best to help you too. Um, in terms of more about the scents or you know, blend requests. I've had many people reach out about, what would you blend with this, Ashley? Can you help me with this, Ashley? Kind of a thing. So I'm always open in that way. Um, and once again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.